we'll go to the first round here. Um, we kept his hand, although it is obviously isn't uh, absolute nuts, but it is good against most aggro decks thanks to wall, and it is good against control thanks to Knight's Whispers and Blood Baron being in there. Um, Kai plays Votus Bloom, that's bizarre. Um, here I am gonna play 8.5 tails just because it's really good. Uh, if he has a burn for it, he has a burn for it, but he needs two cards first to activate the Love Monster before he can actually kill it. Um, doesn't seem to be playing those colors anyway. So obviously I'm gonna return this and then attack Dot he he'll block, so... Yep, there's that. Lotus Bloom, huh? I'm curious what this guy is gonna play with this Lotus Bloom. So Clifftop Retreats, play Seagate Oracle. So he is some kind of... Uh, blue... Oh, he also plays white. For what? What would this guy play white for? So he's attacking, sure. Uh, wow, Windburst Heights is uh, an annoying draw because I actually want to play the wall. In game 2 here. Attacking doesn't really matter. Obviously want to use the ability. We wouldn't want to gain life. But now his Lotus Bloom resolves. He might have Sun Titan to bring it back into play. It seems likely because he did. Um, he does play white for some odd reason. The, these seem to be his main colors, yeah, and white is a splash. I'm just curious what he splashes white for. It could be Sun Titan. Just passes the turn here. So I think we cast Knight's Whispers. Let's play a land first. I know I want to normally cast and cast some um, Blood Baron. I think this is just as good. Uh, we have Skull Clamp here to equip. Do we want to? I don't think so. I think we want to be able to keep the protection up. Oh, he might have upheaval. That explains Lotus Bloom. But it's not going to be the absolute nuts. Uh, wall's gonna target itself because there's no use to targeting this. I don't think the one live is gonna make the difference. How come we took another two? Oh, it's, it's nice whispers. Restoration angel. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so probably see a oracle here. Get another card. He might splash white for Restoration Angel. Nah, seems unlikely. It says you control, so I couldn't s stop him from getting a card there. Obviously, want to use the ability. Turn goes to him. <laughs> then we can skull climb the wall, I guess. It becomes three, five. And if it dies, I get a really good thing. Meaning, I get to draw two. I don't want the eight and a half tails to die at some point, so. If he attacks here, I'm gonna let it through. I don't want him to. Um, I don't want him to be able to kill this, and I don't think the three damage is gonna matter. I think if he used AoE here, what do I protect? Although 8.5 deals could protect this. Maybe I should have blocked. I think he anticipated me blocking. He has 5 cards. He has to have something here. Sacrifices Lotus Bloom for blue. Seems like upheaval, right? Oh, consecrate things? That's way worse. 
Especially seeing that I wanted to run out Skull Climb there. You may draw two cards. Do you want to do this? Are you sure you want to do this? Um, so I think it has to be Solemn. Obviously, want to use this. Get myself another swamp. Play Windbreak Heights. Take a risk, I guess. None of these other matter. And then just play the skull gun. Nah. I really don't want him to refill and consecrate Sphinx. Huh? Yeah, let's still play the skull clamp. I don't think keeping those up is relevant. No clue why it puts it in between these lines. Uh, Target Solemn. If he kills it, I get to draw another card. He lightning helix is eight and a half deal. So maybe I could have kept open the mana there. And then at least protect the eight and a half tails. Uh we can always get it back with your enemies. Problem is just his Sphinx. Okay. You can't win against the Sphinx if it stays alive for too long. It seems likely that it's gonna stay alive. Don't think this matchup is any good for me because Red Decks usually have a bunch of removal. Uh, he even have, has Lava Monster, and then they have control with blue. Uh, as in, they outpower you late game anyway. And Consecrated Sphinx is definitely another blue card. If it sticks, and you usually already draw through cards from it, if it sticks, you just lose. Do I want to draw a card? Yes, I still think I want to draw a card. It seems really weird that I draw there, because he draws another two as well. Um, but I think I have to. I have to get an Oblivion Ring. I have a one outer. Uh, obviously block that because else you can use Grim Lava Monster on the wall. And uh, the life I save, uh, the life I lose, I will get back by using the wall. So obviously he's gonna do that. Um, let's play Flex Stones, Blood Baron. Let's cancel that. Let's play Soldier. Let him draw more cards. Of course, he draws cards. I'm just digging for an answer here, and it might be too late. It probably will be too late. Uh, figure is a good one. Because we can pump this, then keep it. He's gonna lava monster it, so I'm still gonna wall the wall itself. If he lava monster this, I stone cloaker it. There's a reason why I don't target figure itself. Yeah, I'll stone cloaker here. At least then we can trade for the restoration angel. Uh, what is he targeting? Me? Obviously I want usability. Why did he target me? Um okay. Watery grave. Really? So he splashes two colors, he splashes white at least for restoration angel and lightning helix, but he also splashes black for something. What's good enough in black that you want to splash for it? I 
Abyss has an <laughs> insane amount of cards in hand and he has to have a counter. Like everything I do with the skull clamp isn't gonna make a difference. Flicker Wisp isn't gonna do much either. This is four mana, so we could have oh yeah. Please resolve. This resolves, that's huge. It does. Let's get rid of the lightning helix. He can obviously love him answer the figure, then have to return either the stone cloaker or the wall, but even then he doesn't get his treachery resolved. Which is basically what I wanted here. He's gonna go for the figure play. Oh, he's gonna go for the figure play on the stone cloaker. Yeah. So then treachery fizzles. Which is obviously what you want to happen there. Um, you can't really kill the wall here, so I can afford blocking there now. Discard something big, please. Something huge. Uh, Trend Dynamo, isn't it? And we draw Aust, so we can Aust this. Play figure. Um, I think we pump it twice here. Um, make it a four four, or at least a five three. Then just pass the turn. Um, He's still in control, but <coughs> doesn't mean we have automatically lost here. Like next turn, we can make this a really big one, flying for striker. So unless he has removal for this, it's gonna be huge. And this white figure is so good. Don't tell me he has another control effect. Garn, huh? Yeah, let's just go see this one. <laughs> I don't think I can win that one at that point. Um, so what do we want to change? Attrition seems really good. Seal or something seems not necessary. Uh, I think Nazumi is good. Soldier is obviously bad, so let's cut that. And see if this does anything. Like Attrition seems really good against them. Uh, no, don't want to mulligan this. It's obviously not the nuts again, uh, because Stoneforge already... No, it mulligans to 5. Stoneforge already has the card. Uh, as in, the skull clamp is already out there. He has a Lava Mancer again, come on. Draw figure. I still think Mystic is a better play. Because in next turn, because in next turn we can play figure, level it up, equip. It's chain lighting. Okay, that doesn't matter. Uh, figure, level it up, equip. Have fun dealing with that. Even if he has something, I draw two cards from it. It doesn't. Uh, we're gonna pay two here. Attack. If he blocks, I'm just gonna trade. We have lingering souls here. Doesn't. Just cast the souls.
Remand, that's fine. Uh, I don't really care about that. Uh, so now he can kill this. But is he gonna? That's the question. And Lingering Souls is so good against him. Yep, that's fine. I draw two. Uh, this is still my main phase, really. I guess. Uh, has Sacred Foundry, lets it come into play untapped. Place. Trend Dynamo. Not really something I want to kill anyway. Um, I can drop Blood Baron. Seems better than anything else. We can't keep it instantly, but maybe that was a reason not to play it first and play the wall first. If he plays Sphinx, that's really good for him. We can oust it once. He really has Sphinx here, huh? Oh, it's Karn? Oh, treachery. Yeah, sure. Um, it comes back to me anyway. Thanks to the house, so we just oust it. Oh, we can't because that's protection. Wow, that's huge. That's protection from my entire deck. Seriously, treachery is so broken. Maybe I should have brought in Seal of Cleansing. Master of Waves, even. Uh, we can oust that, but. We can just play Wall. It's usually good enough against these guys. He has no cards in hand, but. Exile another target permanent. Um, we can target this. We can target the treachery, but that doesn't seem valuable. Yeah, Lingering Souls is really good here. And uh, we're gonna flashback it as well. Basically, stops his entire Master of Waves. We just block this, of course. Uh, the problem is this Blood Baron. It's gonna hit us really hard. But Wall is gonna gain us all life. Let's see how he attacks. He does attack with the Blood Baron. And all the tokens. I think I do block him to that. I don't see why I wouldn't. I don't want to increase the clock here. Go up to 11, he goes to 19. Yeah, it's really hard to beat that Blood Baron. Especially if he keeps drawing like a monster here. Which he does. <laughs> Come on! Yeah, whatever. I I'm not even gonna bother. Thank you. I'll see you guys for the second round.